Did you know that almost every version of the iconic video game character Mega Man has been voiced in English by both a man and a woman? Classic Mega Man was voiced by child actor Cole Howard in Mega Man Powered Up for the PSP. Professor, please! Change me into a fighting robot! But years earlier was portrayed by Ruth Shiraishi in Mega Man 8. Hey, Zack! Why must I fight you? We are not enemies! Shiraishi also voiced X in Mega Man X4 around the same time. Zero, if, if I become a maverick, you have to take care of me. But in more recent years, X has been voiced by Mark Gatha. You set this up from the start! Made the Mechanoloids go berserk? Caused the death and suffering of countless innocents? Mega Man Volnut was voiced by film actor Corey Sevier in Mega Man Legends, when he was still just a kid. Hey, cut it out! Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? But as he had grown up by Mega Man Legends 2, Volnut's voice was replaced by Susan Roman. Alright! Maybe we have a chance after all! Hold on to that key! Lastly, in the anime series Mega Man Enti Warrior, Andrew Francis voiced the show's main character, Mega Man.exe. I'm Mega Man, nice to meet ya. You bet, the one and only. Who also cameoed in Capcom's Onimusha Blade Warriors, where he was instead played by Gwendolyn Yo. Land the routine, please! Speaking of Mega Man EXE, the anime series Mega Man Enti Warrior was based on the Mega Man Battle Network games for the Game Boy Advance, which had been releasing in the US for a couple years already. NT Warrior first premiered in America on Kids WB's Saturday Morning Block and continued airing until 2005, spanning two seasons of 87 episodes, trimmed down from 107 episodes in Japan. Around the time of the show's premiere, Mega Man Network Transmission for the Nintendo GameCube was released, but this game's voiceover was entirely in Japanese. The anime was recorded at Ocean Studios in Vancouver, the same place where the 90s Mega Man cartoon produced by Ruby Spears was recorded as well. In fact, several cast members of the original series carried over as new characters in Mega Man NT Warrior. Richard Newman, who voiced a variety of robot masters like Woodman, played Masa the Fishmonger in NT Warrior. Lee Tokar, who voiced Mega Man X villain Vile in one episode of the cartoon, later went on to play the Battle Network version of Woodman, as well as Masa's romantic rival, Mr. Higsby. Terry Klassen, who voice directed the Mega Man cartoon and also played characters like Cutman, made a brief appearance in Enti Warrior as Junk Man, or Junk Data Man as they chose to call him. And last but certainly not least, Scott McNeil, who voiced Dr. Wily, Proto Man, Eddie, and Brainbot in Mega Man, would later go on to play not only the Enti Warrior version of Cutman, but all of the Cutman family, and Gutsman and Shade Man, and Beast Man, and King Man, and Tora. <laughs> Some other interesting things in the cast of Enti Warrior were that, for example, Dr. Wily in this series was played by Paul Dobson instead of Scott McNeil, in order to differentiate them as separate versions of the characters. Paul Dobson by this time had already been portraying a number of evil villains like Naraku from Inuyasha. Count Zap, it's time to tune up that guitar of yours and inject a bit of your heavy metal mayhem into the Cyber Matrix! As there were a large multitude of characters, actors like Scott McNeil and Paul Dobson were cast as several characters in the series, sometimes even ones that would even be in the same scene. For example, Paul Dobson also played Magic Man and Sword Man. Don Brown voiced Shark Man, Video Man, and Spark Man, and Brian Drummond voiced Skull Man, Heat Man, and Snake Man. Oh, and let's not forget Janice Jode, who played government agent Miss Manuela, teacher Miss Mariko, and her evil sister Miss Yuriko, who share their names with a duo of Japanese characters from Marvel's X-Men series. Yuriko, also known as Lady Deathstrike, would funnily enough go on to be voiced by Janice Jode in the Hulk vs. Wolverine movie. The main characters in NT Warrior, led by Lan Nakari, were all voiced age-appropriately by child actors. Brittany Wilson as male, Reese Thompson as Tori, Bill Switzer and later Scott Perry as Chod, and Alex Dodoff as Lan himself. Lan was later replaced during the show's first season, but by an older and more experienced actor, Brad Swale. Speaking of experienced actors, the three leads of the worldwide animated hit Ed, Ed, and Eddie all voiced characters in Enti Warrior 2. Tony Sampson, Eddie, voiced Gutsman's operator Dex. Sam Vincent, Double D Ed, voiced Number Man, Iceman, and Rush, while Matt Hill, voice of Ed, played Aquaman and the mysterious, intimidating Bass. Now become one with me. <laughs> Move in with me! Move in with me! We can be like brothers and share the same bathroom! Also, an episode of the show's first season featured the characters Sal and Dave, net operators of Woodman and Quickman, respectively. These two characters were implied to have history with each other and maybe even a hint of romantic interest, accentuated by their being portrayed by Kelly Sheridan and Kirby Morrow. This may or may not have been an ongoing in-joke with these two actors being very often cast as romantic interests in other shows like Inuyasha, Vision of Escaflone, Class of the Titans, and even the Barbie and the Nutcracker movie. One more interesting tidbit about the cast of Enti Warrior was Ross Douglas as Fireman, or Torchman as he was called in the show. 
Although Ross is based out of Washington in the U.S., he would often do voice work in the Vancouver area. Fans of Sly Cooper might recognize him as the voice of the evil Clockwork. Although the Battle Network games didn't typically include voiceover, one exception was the Nintendo DS port of Mega Man Battle Network 5, called Double Team. The cast of the TV series wasn't carried over. However, the small bits of voice work were by people you might recognize from other Mega Man games. Lamb was played by Mark Gatha, who we mentioned earlier was the voice of X. Mega Man EXE was played by Jeffrey Watson, voice of Axel. And Colonel and Proto Man were voiced by Tommy James, who voiced a couple Mavericks in Maverick Hunter X, like Storm Eagle and Dark Mantis, as well as Guts Man in Mega Man Powered Up. The Mega Man games to feature these actors were recorded at Blue Water Studios, a non-union branch of Ocean Studios. The various Mega Man games and animated series have been consistently and almost exclusively recorded in Canada, but in recent years there's been a shift towards California. The Mega Man Star Force anime series was recorded at Studiopolis with a cast of actors recognizable from shows like Naruto and Bleach, including Kyle Leber as one of the main characters, Omegasus. Kyle voices multiple Capcom characters like Bile and Dagon from Devil May Cry, Tachibana from Sengoku Basara, Miles Edgeworth from Phoenix Wright, and of course, Ryu from Street Fighter. Speaking of which, several Capcom games featuring cameos by Mega Man characters were recorded at New Generation Pictures, with several pre-existing characters played by different actors than usual, such as Johnny Ambosh as Zero and Tara Platt as Tron Bon in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Chris Kasin as Mega Man and Michelle Knotts as Roll in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The last example is for the unfortunately cancelled Mega Man Legends 3 prototype. An interview on the Capcom dev room when Legends 3 was in early stages of development featured an interview with the actors cast to play new characters Barrett and Arrow and even included a few audio samples of Arrow. Ah, men. You really are all fools. Only a select few industry professionals have played the Mega Man Legends 3 prototype, and supposedly it included voiceover for all characters recorded with an LA cast. But the game never saw the light of day. Thanks for watching. This video was inspired by Did You Know Gaming, so go check out their channel and watch all their videos about gaming trivia. Special thanks to Omadom for the audio mastering, The Legend of Renegade for the music, and BehindTheVoiceActors.com for all the audio samples. If you like this video, go check out some of our other ones on the side here. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more. See you next time, and happy Mega May!